Karen is at a corporate party. Her boss, Mia, brings a bunch of identical envelopes and says, I personally put the grand prize in one of these envelopes. It's a certificate for a trip to Bali. But no worries, the remaining envelope contains consolidation prizes prepared by our sponsors. Can you help Karen win the trip to Bali? There's a lipstick print on this envelope. Mia has a similar lip color. She said that she had personally packed only one envelope, so the grand prize should be here. The day of Karen's flight to Bali has finally come. She calls a taxi to the airport. Soon, three identical taxis arrive at her porch. Uh -oh. But only one of these drivers can actually give Karen a safe ride. Can you guess who? The second car has a flat tire, and the driver of the third taxi is a werewolf. Take a look at his claws. It's a full moon, so he'll turn into a wolf soon. Therefore, Karen should choose the first taxi. Karen's luggage is too heavy, so she goes to the cash register to pay for the excess. Oh no, her card holder is gone. Karen asks three people standing nearby, have you seen a pink card holder? The cleaner says, I found two lost wallets today, but none of them look like yours. The cashier says, I was busy with another customer, so I didn't look around. And another passenger says, Don't waste time, honey. Block your cards as soon as possible. Who stole the wallet? Nobody. Karen put it in the fold of her hat and forgot it there. See? On the plane, the steward asks Karen to switch seats with another passenger. Karen can choose one of these three seats. Can you help her figure out the best option? This man has very long legs, so he'll probably kick the back of Karen's chair all along. The second option is next to this elegant lady, but she's stealing money from another passenger. Probably not the best company for a long hour flight. Although the third guy looks like a vampire, it's just a costume. He's sitting by the window, but the sun rays don't bother him, so he's the best option. Karen arrives at a fancy hotel in Bali. The manager shows her the three best bungalows uh -oh. to choose from, but only one of them is safe enough. Can you help Karen to make the best choice? The first bungalow doesn't have a door, which makes Karen an easy target for robbers and mosquitoes. And there's a scorpion under the bed in the third bungalow, so she should choose the second one. On the beach, Karen meets three ladies who claim to be millionaires and show her pictures to prove it. But one of them is fake rich. Can you guess who? It's the first lady. She's just modeling for an electric toothbrush commercial. So her luxury is artificial. Karen is walking down the shore and sees a party. It's a beach wedding, so the bride and groom don't wear traditional costumes. Can you find the newlyweds among these people? Take a look at the cake. The letters say Harry plus Amy. This lady is wearing a necklace with the name Amy, so she's the bride. And now look at the flower garland around her neck. Only one person is wearing the identical garland, this guy, so he's probably the groom. Karen spots uh -oh. her former classmate, Tom, among the guests. He's talking to a strange lady. The lady is wearing a hoodie and standing with her back turned to Karen. So Karen can't see her face. Tom and the lady leave together and hide from everyone on the roof of the beach restaurant where the party takes place. Later that night, Karen also visits the roof. There's no one else here, but after checking the roof, 
Karen knows for sure which of these three ladies is Tom's secret girlfriend. How did she know? The third lady's dress is decorated with gold sequins. She lost one sequin on the roof. Tom sees Karen and invites her for a walk along the shore. She spots four weird things right away. Uh -oh. Can you see them too? A mermaid is hiding in the waves. This sandcastle has electric lighting. Tree branches flutter in the wind to the right, but the flags to the left. And finally, the moon has a creepy face. The next morning, Karen goes to the buffet breakfast. She wants to get a smoothie, but there's no information about the ingredients in English. Uh -oh. Unfortunately, Karen is allergic to strawberries. Can you figure out which smoothies are safe for her? It's all about the color. Only the green and yellow smoothies don't contain any strawberries for sure. Other options are risky. Karen enters a spa center. The manager asks her to wait for 15 minutes. Karen takes a seat and falls asleep. She wakes up after a while and finds out that someone had given her a heart-shaped tattoo. She questions three suspects. Bobby, the client, says, Lady, I've just arrived on my motorbike. If I see any crazy tattoo artists around here, I'll tell you. Leah says, I've been cleaning the bathroom within the last 30 minutes. And Tony, the massage therapist, says, Sorry, I was busy with my client, so I didn't look at you at all. Who's lying? Bobby, this motorbike has flat tires. And besides, it was already there when Karen entered the spa. Luckily, the tattoo was temporary and the massage therapist helped Karen to remove it, but he charged her $5 for his help. Karen arrived at the spa during happy hours when they offer a 45% discount on all services. So Karen paid only $12 for a one-hour massage. Also, she had a pedicure for $7. When Karen left, she found a $50 bill on the ground. How much money did Karen spend in total? Can you count? Karen spent a total of $24. As for this $50 bill, it's fake, so it doesn't make any difference. Karen brings her clothes to the local laundry owned by three sisters. She returns to pick up her stuff in five hours. Unfortunately, someone has burned her favorite dress with an iron. Karen gets furious and questions the sisters. Mia says, I didn't iron today, it must be Pia. Pia says, nah, I was planting roses in the garden all day, it must be Gia. And Gia says, I don't know who's guilty because I've been away all day. Who burned Karen's dress? It was Pia. Take a look at the garden. Can you see any roses? Exactly. Karen returns to her hotel room and uh -oh. finds a huge bouquet in a vase. The note says, Love, your secret admirer. Karen calls the reception to find out more. The manager says, One of the hotel's male guests ordered the flowers, but I can't reveal his name. Only three male guests stay in this hotel at the moment. Hans, Jacques, and Will. Karen meets them all at the beach and spots her secret admirer right away. Do you have any clue who it might be? Karen received pink lilies. Take a look at Hans's shirt. It has a print with pink lilies. He loves these flowers, but this doesn't prove anything. Will has a tan line from a wedding ring, and he's taking pictures of his wife surfing. But Jacques is writing in the sand, and his handwriting looks suspiciously similar to the love note. Spotted! Karen and Jacques go for a walk. 
he brings her to a pier with three boats. Jacques says, If you manage to guess where my boat is, I'm going to give it away to you. Can you help Karen find the right answer? Someone's sleeping on the second boat, but this doesn't mean that the person is the owner. The third boat is called Jacques, but this name is quite popular. Let's take a closer look at the first boat. Can you see the red trousers on a hanger? They match perfectly with Jacques' jacket. Therefore, this is his boat. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. As a child, Laura adored rabbits. She grew up, became a private detective, and got herself a cute rabbit named Cinnabon. Once, she had to go on a business trip. She asked Sarah, her housekeeper, Annabelle, her cook, and Phoebe, her sister, to look after the animal. But when Laura came back, Cinnabon was gone and all three women she had asked to look after her pet claimed they didn't know what had happened. Look at them attentively. Who is lying? It's the cook. See, it's Cinnabon's collar in her pocket. Well, Laura noticed that too. When Annabelle realized she had given herself away, she broke into a run. Laura dashed after her, but she couldn't catch up with the woman. Luckily, the girl noticed Annabelle run into a gym. She ran inside too. A security guard stopped her. Apparently, all members of this exclusive sport club were supposed to know a special passphrase to enter the facility. Laura was lucky to notice a note with a hint next to the door. Can you help Laura figure out the passphrase? That's for once in my life. And it was the correct answer, the guard that Laura threw. The girl searched everywhere, but didn't find Annabelle. But wait, the showers! When she entered the bathroom, she realized there were three people taking a shower there. But a moment later, she noticed that one person only pretended to be cleaning themselves. Who was it? It's the person in the second cubicle. The water is running, but there's no foam. They don't use any soap or sponge. But, surprise, surprise, the person who pretended to be taking a shower wasn't Annabelle. Then where could the cook hide? Suddenly, Laura noticed a white sheet of paper on the floor. She picked it up. It said, Follow the white rabbit. Look around the room attentively and try to figure out where the girl should go. See those bunny ears on that door? Laura should probably try it. But there was a combination lock on the door. And is that a riddle next to it? Laura started reading. The code is a three-digit number. 682. One number here is correct and well-placed. 635. One number is correct but in the wrong place. 206. Two numbers are correct but in the wrong place. 738. Nothing here is correct. 780. One number is correct but in the wrong place. Can you help Laura figure out the code? From statements 4 and 5, we can understand that 0 is the correct number standing in the wrong place. 6 can't be the number we need, otherwise statements 1 and 2 would contradict each other. In this case, looking at statements 2 and 3, we can conclude that the correct numbers are 2, 5 and 0. And the code is 052. Laura opened the door and saw a long corridor. It led her to a large room. There, she saw a man dressed in black. He was sitting on a throne-like chair, holding Cinnabon. Well, 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 here you are, he said. If you want to get your rabbit back, you'll have to do something for me. 
Laura had no choice but to agree. You see, my wife Louisa disappeared during a performance she attended a week ago. Your task will be to find her. And the man gave Laura all the details. The girl questioned three witnesses. Dorothy said she had gone home right after the performance and hadn't noticed anything weird. Alina said that she had seen Louisa leave during the break with a tall blonde man. And Anna said that she'd been on the phone with her husband and hadn't seen where Louisa had gone. Who knows something about Louisa's whereabouts? Alina, look, during the intermission, she wasn't wearing her glasses. Neither did she have her lenses on. Look at how clumsily she moved. But then, how could she see Louisa leaving with a man? After Laura pressed Alina, the woman cracked. She admitted that she had seen some woman pulling Louisa away, but she was afraid to tell the truth since the woman seemed extremely unfriendly. Alina gave Laura a piece of paper the woman had dropped, but whatever was written there, it was a cipher. Can you help Laura crack it? The note says, at the docks. When Laura got there, she saw three buildings. She understood she wouldn't have enough time to search all of them. She needed to choose the one where Louisa was kept, and fast. Can you help Laura? Look at the dark blue construction attentively. Next to the window, there's the word HELP scratched with some sharp object. After looking around the building, Laura found three keys. She needed to figure out which one of them fit the lock. Hurry up! Right, this is the key! The door opened, and Laura saw a woman sitting in the far corner. It was Louisa! She helped the woman to her feet, and they stumbled away. Soon, they noticed three taxis. Which car should they choose? The first one doesn't have a license plate. That's suspicious. And the driver of the second taxi is the very woman who took Louisa away a week ago. She's wearing a fake mustache and a baseball cap, pretending to be a man. Laura and Louisa should choose the third taxi. But luck wasn't on their side that evening. The car broke down before they could get to Louisa's husband. They had to walk. There were three paths in front of them. One led to a swamp. Toxic gases were floating all over the surface of the water. The second road was filled with poisonous plants. And over the third path, the air was swarming with agitated wasps. Which path should Laura and Louisa opt for? The second. At least the plants can't move, so if the women are careful, they'll be able to avoid touching them. Finally, they arrived at Louisa's house. Once the man in black saw his wife, he hugged her and turned to Laura. I'm so sorry for using such methods, but I was getting desperate. I can't tell you why, but I had to keep her disappearance under wraps. That's why I chose to involve you. Thank you. I want to give something to you, but to get it, you'll need to crack this riddle. An electronics store owner came to work one day and saw that his safe was open. His money was nowhere to be found. He called the police. When a detective arrived, the store owner explained that the key to his safe was on the same keychain as the keys from his truck. Two of his employees, Andrew and Ryan, used the truck and had access to all the keys, but the men had always returned them. The detective questioned the drivers. Someone broke into your boss's safe yesterday. What do you know about this incident? Andrew said, I didn't copy the key. I wouldn't even know which one to copy. And Ryan said, I've been working here for three months and have never entered the boss's office yet. The detective understood who the thief was right away. Can you figure it out? Andrew stole the money. The detective didn't say how the criminal had opened the safe. Then how did Andrew know it? 
Laura got the answer right. The man handed her Cinnabon and a brand new smartphone, but it was protected by a password. When Laura tried to unlock the phone, that's what she saw. Write backward all the numbers. That sounded like a tough task. Luckily, Laura was very smart. She didn't need much time to write the correct answer and unblock the gadget. So what was the password? S-R-E-B-M-U-N E-H-T-L-L-A That's all the numbers written backwards. She couldn't believe her eyes. She'd been dreaming of this all her life. But to get it, she'd have to set off on a very unusual journey. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.